Our focus today is a call to corporate prayer. Is corporate prayer biblical? Is it reverent? Is it beneficial to the church? Some would argue it's not. Did not Jesus instruct his disciples and us to enter a private secret place when we pray and to pray without vain repetition to let our requests be made known to God using that pattern prayer he gave us, which we call the Lord's Prayer. Yes, he did. And there's no question or doubt that most of our praying should be done by that pattern and in a private secret place of quietness with God. But I find it interesting that the pronoun Jesus used there in Matthew 6 in his instruction to prayer, when you pray, is a plural you. So prayer is not just a private, intimate, secret time of communication with God. It is to be done together with fellow believers in a corporate setting. Listen to the words of Jesus in Matthew 18. Again, I say to you, if if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. And that obviously became a pattern for the early church, the disciples of our Lord in their leadership of that New Testament church. Acts chapter two, verse 42. They devoted themselves, group, to the apostles' teaching, to the to the fellowship, and to the breaking of bread and to prayer. So what are some of the dangers of corporate prayer? For there are some. Well, Jesus addressed those as well. Number one, praying to be heard of men. Praying in a crowd to be heard by the crowd. That's hypocritical praying. And Jesus addressed it there in Matthew 6, verse 5. He said, when you pray, don't be like the hypocrites. They love to pray. That's interesting. Standing in the synagogues or in the corners of the the streets, that they may be seen by men. Assuredly, I say that's all the reward they get. A second danger of corporate prayer would be confusion or lack of unity, lack of focus. Remember Jesus said, if any two of you agree as touching anything, it's hard to agree when you can't understand what's being prayed or you can't hear the one leading in prayer. There needs to be a togetherness in corporate prayer and agreeing together, which requires a prayer leader and prayer supporters. It's good and right to lift our voices together as one in agreement as we're led in prayer. Obviously there are moments and times when we just need a time of praying in the same room, but more of private individual praying and that's, that's fitting and, and right as well. But it enables us to truly agree together and to uh, support one another when we pray corporately. So what are the benefits of corporate prayer? Prayer together motivates and inspires us to pray. There's times when a call to our knees finds us uninspired and, and maybe unmotivated, but getting together with other believers and for the purpose of praying Uh, brings us to a place of prayer and inspires us to pray. It helps focus our praying. Though at times our minds may be distracted or maybe we're in a a spiritual time of uh, dryness or mental, emotional. And when we pray together, it brings us to a focus and the dynamics of a group praying together uh, boost and encourages the focus of that praying. There comes a unity in our purpose of, of corporate praying. Uh, it has the ability to knit a, to a group together in a, in a bond of fellowship and praise and confession. And as people pray together, they build relationships. There's no better way to build relationships than praying together. And it also enhances our concern for one another. And uh, it helps us to be aware of our dependence on God. There's encouragement, obviously, in corporate praying. Praying with others can bring encouragement to those who are praying in that group as they are upheld uh, by the group in prayers. We pray for one another. The Holy Spirit brings encouragement and and reassurance to 
uh, each individual of that group through the time of prayer. There's a spirit of worship. No, no better means of worship than corporate praying, praying together, intimate communion with God. And in that often there comes confession and admission of need and, and, and the sharing of that need and praying for one another. And as people pray, the Holy Spirit uh, brings that awareness of our needs. And then lastly, it enhances our, our praying. It, it helps us to pray better. As we pray with other uh, prayers, prayer warriors, uh, it enables us to pray better. And when we don't know what to pray, don't have the right words, often someone else does, and it's just good to be able to agree. And, and it strengthens our praying when we pray. And that amen comes in our heart as we pray along with others. So though it's been a tradition in our Wesleyan uh, circles, let us not lose the beautiful opportunities of praying together with God's people. Thank you.